we have come for a day out by the boats at the Packet Boat Marina and it's very close to home. Let's start the show. Isn't it weird that we've lived in Uxbridge for so long, yet we haven't been here before? Yes, it is, but today we're going to explore it. Ooh. It's always good to have a map, Paul. So, so where are we? So, we are over here, I believe. Or are we at the red dot? Yeah. Here. Yeah, so this is the we office. Down here, we saw the, restaurant. the Grand Union Canal. Um, so, we're right here. So, what is number three? Pub and restaurant, that's what we passed before on our way in. Mm. And the canal cottages for hire, they had those there too. Oh, excellent. So, what are these? Well, that's the canal side moorings. Ah, oh, so they're like the boats, right? Yeah, so let's go take a look. So, these are the moorings. Lots of boats and I guess some of them come in for repairs here as well because there is maintenance. I'm not sure if there's some way in. There is a fence here. So you can go through the office to get in there, but you probably need a permit or something because the marina is all fenced off. But there is this lovely area here with greenery and picnic tables and I am sure there is more water because there is a bit of a sort of an island system around here. We're now entering some undergrowth and it's a lovely summer's day when we're here. It's going up to about 25 degrees later so we've purposely come in the morning when it's a little bit cooler and as you were saying before Paul it's amazing that we've never actually been to the packet boat marina before. We walked here. <laughs> yes, we walked here. I saw it from the bus one day, uh -huh. or at least a sign for it. And I thought, oh, that looks interesting. We should go there. Now we're crossing a little bridge here. So there are streams and reed beds. It's really quite stagnant actually at the moment. There's a life buoy. And I think we should just follow this path around. It looks as though that the grass has been recently cut. Do you know what this reminds me of? When we went to that little area at the bottom of our road. Oh, right, yeah. I think, was that last year we did that? Or was it the year before? But it is in before. one of our old episodes. Yeah, gosh, time flies. And again, it's one of those places that is on your doorstep and you never really visit. So it just shows you that it doesn't really mean you have to go far away to visit somewhere new. And we walked here today from home, didn't we, Paul? It took half an hour. 25 minutes. Oh, that was quite a long walk for me. It was about two kilometers. Now, the question is, which way do we go? We've got a path up this way or another one over this way here. Now, there is water down there and I, I want to see water. So shouldn't we go that way, Paul? All right. It feels like we're going into the wilderness for some reason, <laughs> even though this isn't. This feels like we're in the countryside somehow. Look at this. We have oh algae gosh. down here, but there are birds in the distance. There's something swimming back there. Yeah, it might be a cormorant, I'm not so sure. Get your map out, Paul. Are we heading in the direction of water, do you think? So it's either straight or it's to the side because you can see that the Grand Union Canal is like to our left. Ah well I think that's the way we need to go. And the Fraser River is in front. 
Yes, but we can't get there at the moment unless there was see, a path. Like, some boats over there. Yeah, it's just a matter of how do we get there. I think we go this way. Okay. This is going left. Uh huh. So I think we could have gone the other way. Oh. As well. Out of breath, Paul. It's usually me that's out of breath. Oh, I see water over isn't, there. Isn't that the Frays River? Ah, right. Because so the, the Frays is going to um, cross the yeah. Grand Union, right? There's lots of midges out today as well. We're not even in Scotland. I think it's better that we do this early in the morning. Well, they might be asleep somehow. <laughs> I don't know. I think I should still be asleep. You're not. <laughs> I think this is the path that we could have taken as, as well. What is it that we want to find? I want to find water. I'm looking for water and boats. Now there is a gate coming up here. I hope that doesn't mean that we can't get any further. But we'll have a look and see what it says. I do see boats. Is it cordoned off? This bit seems to be. It says private access for Aqua Vista berth holders only. But look at that. It is rather nice down there. Oh look, there's a swan over there. Oh, so there is. So, so I think this water is the Grand Union Canal and then the river running this way was gonna be the Fraser River. Yes, I think that's right. It just sort of flapping. Yeah. So I guess that's its mate there. Maybe that's the female sitting on the nest yeah. and the male has gone out with the fish. So we've got this little bridge coming up now. So this will be crossing Frey's River. In actual fact, Frey's River goes along the end of our road as well. But I think it's a lot wider at this point. Oh, look at this. So there is a canal boat down there, but that's not the canal, is it? This is no. definitely Frey's River. Yeah. Yeah. Should we double check my Google Maps? Oh, I believe you. We have some campers on the other side. Looks as though that they're having their breakfast, reading a newspaper. That's interesting. So this isn't Frey's River then? I think this is the Grand Union Canal. Oh, this is the canal. Well, that would look, explain the barge. Look, this is Grand Union. So where's the river? Are we going to cross the river? Is it across here somewhere? What do you think, Paul? No, I'm like, I am new to this. It's a good job that we did come in the morning because look, it says these gates close at 4 p.m. We are actually on our way, hopefully to get breakfast now at that restaurant that we saw on the way in and I am in need of a coffee <laughs> as well. So Paul, do you know what a packet boat is? I think from the name it sounds like it's compact. Well actually it relates to when packets were delivered by boat, transported by boat, so oh. they were packet boats 
And if you remember, when we went to the Isle of Man one time, before we started doing this show, so we might have to go back, um, we went on the steam packet ferry over to it Douglas. Small? It small. wasn't that small, but it sort of relates back to the days when it would have been delivering packets uh. or packages over to the Isle of Man. And in actual fact, I think they still do actually carry newspapers over. Because I can remember one of the newspapers I worked for was always saying, oh, we must make the Isle of Man ferry. I've spied a horse over there feeding. Oh, wow. Look at that. Just one. Well, we did find somewhere to eat and while we were at the water's edge we saw another part of the canal so we've come to have a look now at that side it's called exploring the slough arm of the grand union canal packet boat lane or turnaround bridge look at this it's a duck island look is there just one yeah, there's only one duck in residence today, but it looks as though it is a little sort of island made for them. <laughs> wow, this is the ending now. Uh, yes, we already did one ending and I'm not sure how it actually worked out because I wasn't 100% sure that the restaurant was going to be open, but it was. It was? Yeah, and we had to include that, plus this added little extra bit of the canal. It's a little bit windy now though, that's the only thing, so I hope you can still hear us because we don't have one of those furry things in our microphone. And for those of you that have liked the episode today, give us a thumbs up. For those of you that haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And for those of you that want to leave a comment, you can do so. And don't forget about to buy us a coffee if you're feeling generous. Yeah, there is a link in the description for that. So we really will see you next time. See you Bye. Later. Bye. Bye.